some of the hilarious happenings in the DC area and beyond, welcome to Open Mic. Oh, look, it is National Read a Book Day. I'll wait for the movie to come out. Welcome to Open Mic. We like to start the show with a few stories or a hot take on a story you're not likely to see anywhere else. I'm from gorgeous Prince George's, and now I spill the tea in DC. So you know these jokes come from a place of love. Oh, you thought I was going to sneeze. No, I'll sneeze uh, later when uh, it's even more awkward. Let's start things off in DC where matchmaking platform MyDatingAdvisor.com has compiled a ranking of the most unfaithful cities in the U.S. and D.C. ranked number 10. Really? Really, my dating advisor? Y'all got D.C. feeling like Mary and Barry right now. The list set me up! The study came to its findings by looking at data points like marriage rate, divorce rate, separation rate, number of cafes and bars, and how often people search for a fair hookup websites on Google. Now all those make sense, except for numbers of cafes and bars. So, so if you're eating, you're cheating? Come on, man, food is necessary for survival. Even food eaten under candlelight with somebody you just met at a work conference who's only in town for one night. Hmm. DC, we can hang our hats on this. Nine other cities at least ranked higher than us. Dallas is the best of the worst, which is always great to hear. Fort Worth came in second. So basically, the Dallas area is number one and number two. Well, their football team is definitely number two, and we can all feel good about both of those. The rest of the top ten, cheater cities, Houston, St. Louis, Nashville, Philadelphia, very rude, New York City, Knoxville, Tennessee, and Atlanta, which sounds about right according to Twitter, Instagram, and all the episodes of Divorce Court, not to mention uh, the classic show Cheaters. I chose this next story simply because it's so cool. NASA's Webb Telescope has captured an image of the Tarantula Nebula, revealing details of the structure and composition of the nebula and other background galaxies. That's right, background galaxies. This thing is so powerful, it has galaxies photobombing it. Now, let me just say that I am thankful that the Tarantula Nebula is not uh, an alien spider coming to kill us all. It's a good thing that actual space doesn't work like comic book movies. And by the way, speaking of comic book movies, the stuff this web telescope has captured makes Marvel movie special effects look downright pedestrian. This is one time where the space program more than lived up to the hype. The web telescope underpromised and overproduced, and when it comes to movies, that never happened. Space is looking blinged out like one of those late 90s pen and pixel rap album covers. The Webb Telescope even captured, get this, the sound of a black hole. Yeah, that was kind of depressing. That's kind of how I imagined a black hole would sound. I'm just saying. This thing is absolutely awesome. If aliens do exist, this telescope is going to catch them on camera like TMZ. And I chose this last story because it might keep the first one from actually happening. A new study in Science Direct has found that men are happier in relationships when they think they are the funnier partner. Hey, there you go, DC. If you don't want your man to cheat, just laugh at his jokes. Yeah, I already know that that's bad advice. You don't have to say it. The headline to this article actually reads, do they fit together like the Joker and Harley Quinn? Really? We're homicidal supervillains or couple goals? No wonder folks are cheating. And in all seriousness, I know that these findings are true, especially if we're talking about rich and successful people, because they are used to people laughing at their jokes just to stay employed. It must be hard to have the whole company treat you like Kevin Hart and then come home to crickets. By the way, scientists put a lot of time and, and research into this study. So ladies, for the sake of everyone's happiness, just go ahead and pretend like you haven't heard him recycle that Rick and Morty quote five times and give your man the same little fake chuckle his coworkers do. Then talk about it with your friends in the group chat. My favorite story, it's gotta be the web telescope because everything else is about relationships and cheating. And 
Cheating is why that black hole sounds so depressed. 